Bill's right about half the time. And last year, he predicted six more weeks of winter. And guess what? Later mm -hmm. that month, we had a huge snowstorm. So the boss found out about that, and Stumptown fell, now joining the Coin Six weather team. Well, <laughs> Portland's most accurate forecast. Most you know? Yeah, Portland's most accurate forecast. I know, and you know, he fits in too because yes. we snack in the weather department. Yeah. Yes. Well, when we, we make the forecast. Snacks. There. We thought if you got like a little dog bed kind yeah. of thing over there, yeah. maybe yeah. Phil could hang out. And then we always kind of <laughs> poke our heads out. Do we see our shadow? Do we not? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The little dam over there. Well, you could see your shadow this afternoon. Uh, you very much could, uh, yeah. but not making six more weeks of winter at least for today. Okay. Feeling very spring-like out there, but again, uh, with Phil's prediction out along the East Coast, no shadow. That means an early spring and like we mentioned uh, he's not that accurate you can see on the right side those are the correct amount of times that he's been right about the winter forecast over the past 10 years now my very own dog rocky also likes to partake his prediction though a little bit more science-based because his dad is a meteorologist and he did see a shadow because there are six more weeks of winter and that's where we find ourselves now 46 days away from the official start of the spring season on March 19th. Now, as far as what's typical for us here in the Pacific Northwest in the Portland area for the month of February's daytime highs right around 52 degrees overnight lows at 37 and this is the fifth wettest month for us averaging just at about three and a half inches of moisture in the second month of the year. Now today alone is also a good reminder that it can still get cold in February. It just so happened that back in 1950 on February 2nd, Portland experienced its coldest overnight low it's ever received. That was three below zero. A much different picture though for us as we take a live look out along the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to our Hota Indigo Kirkland Tower camera giving us signs of spring with the blue skies and sunshine as we currently hold steady in the mid 50s. And that's going to take us through the rest of this evening. So for your showers past forecast, expecting to slide back into the upper 40s by about 7, 8 o'clock. You got the green bikes to go for the remainder of the overnight hours. As the mild temperatures still reside over much of the western half of the country, we got this cool pool of air, but that keeps our temperatures right at about average for this time of year as we work our way through the weekend before this ridge hopefully starts to push its way back over our area, making it feel more like the spring season. But our future cast expecting to see Maybe a stray raindrop or two as we work our way into Saturday. But for the most part, it's going to be a rinse and repeat scenario of what we experienced today. Again for Saturday and again for Sunday. The difference on Sunday morning is some patchy fog before the sunshine takes over by the mid-morning hours. But temperatures again in the low to mid-50s for many of us as we expect to see the rain accumulation through Sunday afternoon. Lackluster, a lot of zeros here through the I-5 quarter out along the coast, maybe a couple of one hundredths of an inch at best. As our snow elevation levels dip back down to about 3,000 feet, not a lot of moisture, but we could get a snowflake or two like what we've seen throughout the day today. But if anything, keeping the base layer stable with cooler temperatures because we've lost about an inch to two inches every single day this week. Now, keep in mind tonight, the very first night of the Portland Winter Light Festival, you got the green lights to go because temperature is going to be comfortable and we will stay on on the dry side. Seven day forecast does paint a pretty dry picture for us, at least through the weekend. Monday, Tuesday, another round of the wet weather once again returns as those temperatures fall back into the upper 40s. That puts us a few degrees below the average of now 50 degrees for February 2nd. Yeah, and this is not a bad way to start this month, this first week we're going through. No, it is not, especially after what Mother Nature gave us last yeah. month. It was a we'll lot, Mother Nature, yeah. yes. Okay, get back at your ex for Valentine's Day while helping a local nonprofit. Coming up, we'll tell you how. And layoffs at Columbia, what we know about the latest cuts at the Portland-based clothing company. Plus, a missing Washington teenager found across the country